Make every shot count. We don't have tons of ammo. Here they come. Get to the firing holes. As much as like you may look at us as, as a good example, I also look at the UK as an example because this is where it started. Like this is where the the medium was first sort of like, and it kept alive all these years. Because we Americans, I hate to say it, we killed it off. And so it's taken a while to get our listener base, like people, to understand what this stuff is. I mean. Uh, a couple of years ago, when I first started in 2009, no one knew what a podcast was. Yeah. That was hard enough to tell anybody. A, an audio drama, I mean, they kind of got, got a little bit, but what they had for audio drama was like multicast books. Yep. No one knew in the capacity of what you could do in the medium. Carl, what did you say? No, 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 I'm talking and you listen. Do you ever appreciate any of the things that I have done for you guys? Would you be here if it wasn't for me? How many times over? Carl. I finally get it. Finally get it. You just don't give a shit about me. The interesting thing about Gold Rush is meant to be more of a fun storyline. It's meant to have more comedy, more engagement. It's it's sort of like we've been evolving audio storytelling for over 10 years. This is where we've gotten to. So with Gold Rush, um, like it took six months to write because that's 10 scripts. Each one's about 40 to 60 pages each on top of it's got to be good. And then you have to go through the process of, oh, now we got to cast, we got to get people, we have to do all these things. I'm amazed by the amount of undiscovered talent there is out there. Because a lot of people are like, oh, where do you get such amazing actors? It's like, they're there. Yeah. You just have to find them. And I will say this much, I am a little bit privileged because I live in LA, or not LA, I live south of LA, but still I get to have access to the LA, LA, LA actor base. We're Alive was not my first story. And that's one of the reasons why I was able to do it the way it was, is because I had written a whole lot before then. You have to try, do something, figure it out, write, and then figure it out again. Um, and for anybody who has an imposter syndrome of saying, oh, I, you know, this idea has been done before, how many times has zombies been done? Yeah. Many, many times. Yeah. What is the difference between that and their projects and mine was my perspective. My perspective was I, I knew what it was like to be a soldier. I knew what it was like to be in these environments, in these horrible places, and I knew, and I'd seen people in the most extreme scenarios. It's something that a lot of people tend to not understand, but realize that no matter what, it's always about your take on it. What do you bring that's new? What is your perspective that you feel like you can tell someone that uh, is, is not known? We're going to we'relive.com, uh, all of the episodes are there, streamable, listenable. You can download all of them, and you have about 60 hours of stuff ahead of you, which is a quite a burden. Uh, some people get intimidated by it. They're like, oh my gosh, it's so long. I don't want to get involved. But reality is... We have spent so much time and care in every episode. It's not like a talk show. It's not like a, uh, something you can just, just wash away. Like, no, it's, it's, a, it's a pyramid. We have a giant base, and we're just adding on to it until we get to that point that just comes to a head, and then it'll all make sense from there. Descendants is the last one because um, I uh, discovered the ending. Uh, it was interesting because I've been working on this for well over 10 years now and the mini stories that I've created along the, along the lines, I have another one called Scout's Honor that's going to be another short story in between there, um, but the, the interesting thing was that it all started to come in together and then one day I was just sitting there and the ending came and I was like, there it is. Okay. Finally, I've been working on this for 10 years and I never got the ending until it just one day was okay. there and then it all started to make sense and I'm like, okay, now we're ready to start because I had to, I, it's, it's, I've I've actually been working on Descendants since 2014, and it takes so much time to develop the worlds, the characters, and everything to advance and evolve 18 years naturally. It takes a lot of time and effort to build a world that's so real that most people will never even hear all the capacities of it, but because I've gone through it, I know the world so well, when I tell it, it's going to be real, and everyone will believe it because it's there. And if anybody has a question like, oh, what's going on in the Philippines? I'll be like, I'll pull up my, uh, my little chart of the countries and be like, eh, Philippines ain't doing so good. <laughs> Casey, thank you so much eh, for coming all this way. No, no, thank uh, you for, for having me. This has been great. Us. That's great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you.